So in the not too distant future, we will have the opportunity to vote for the MSPs who represent us in the Scottish Parliament. But why exactly is this so important and why exactly do we have to vote both in Westminster and in the Scottish parliamentary election? Simply put, the reason why we take these elections as seriously as we do with the Westminster elections is because of devolved powers. In any discussion of politics in Scotland or in the UK in general, you're going to hear the word devolved powers flung around a lot. But what exactly are devolved powers? In a state like the UK, there are two types of powers. There are reserved powers and devolved powers. Reserved powers are the issues handled by the governmental body that covers the largest amount of area or the entire state in this instance. So reserved issues in the UK are handled by Westminster and are issues that affect everybody in the UK, whether they be from England, Ireland, Scotland or Wales. Lots of powers in the UK are however devolved and that's not just in Scotland. Many issues are deferred to smaller state bodies like the Welsh Parliament and the Scottish Parliament for them to handle and devolved powers are issues which are handled by a separate government body which deals with a smaller area in the country, like the Scottish Parliament which deliberates and legislates on certain issues to decide how they specifically affect people in Scotland. Devolution doesn't stop there however, there are actually a lot of issues which are further devolved within the countries in the UK. So within Scotland itself there are 32 local government bodies which you may be familiar with as your city council which take certain issues handled by the Scottish Parliament and deal with them specifically in their own area like primary and high school education. Reserved issues handled by Westminster include things like foreign affairs, immigration, UK defence, employment legislation, welfare, currency regulation and taxes including national insurance and VAT. In the Scottish Parliament we currently have control over and have had control over for many years now issues such as education, higher education and university being dealt with directly by Holyrood whereas early education is under the jurisdiction of local councils, healthcare and the NHS, tourism and economic development, social work and almost the entire legal system in Scotland is devolved. As it has been, Scotland has also had restricted tax altering powers in regards to council tax, income tax and business tax. It's important to remember these devolved issues because when it comes to things like higher education, the NHS or legal legislation like minimum pricing on alcohol, the MSPs we elect and sit in the Scottish Parliament can be held accountable for these issues. You may or may not also be aware that very recently Westminster and the Scottish Government agreed to pass the Scottish Bill which gives the Scottish Parliament a much wider array of devolved powers. These devolved matters will include power over abortion law, airport duty, more areas of welfare, amongst many others. But it's important to be aware of what the Scottish Government does and doesn't have control over. Until next time!